Nokia fans are pretty amazing, there is no doubt about that. Performance and quality wise, they are always amongst the very best and when trying out a new fan, they usually even serve as a bar to separate the good from the bad. But there is one huge thing that sometimes keeps people from going for Noctua inside their newest build. Quality does come at a cost, a, a significant one actually. Well, lo and behold, Noctua may have the answer. Meet their budget-friendly Redux NFP12. Now with a reduced MSRP, but with heavily increased user experience. No, no, that's not actually what Redux stand for. I, I don't know actually what Redux stand for. I don't even think there is anything that it stands for. I don't know. So this is one of Noctia's price conscious fans, the Redux NFP12. But before we go over this specific fan, a quick recap on what Redux actually is. To keep it short, Redux is essentially a budget-friendly version of another Noctia fan. To get that price down, Noctia did a pretty sneaky little thing, they just didn't do any of the stuff they usually do. No, this may sound a bit harsh, but the way to keep the price low is to just not create the perfect product. Truth be told, uh, when you look very closely at any non-Redux Noxia fan, there is a ridiculous amount of mini improvements and, 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 and mini things they did around the whole fan. We have mini indentations on the frame, a, a stepped inlet design, a metal bearing keeping the shaft in place, a completely useless low noise adapter and a bunch of more stuff. And it's these little things, left and right, which contribute to the price tag that Noxia asked for the premium of getting one of their fans. But let's be honest here, um, Fantex T30s for example, which is a direct comparison for Noxia's NF-A12X25, and it performs almost the same, does not come with any of those little enhancements. All Fantex did was essentially take the best-in-class material, ask some company to create the perfect bearing, make the whole thing thicker to add insane performance. And voila, an amazing fan. No indentations in the frame, not even any freaking indentation on the fan wing. What I'm trying to show here is that, sure, these little things that Noxia does are contributing to a enhanced everything, <laughs> but Take everything away and you still got a damn good fan. And that's exactly where the Redux P12 comes in. Now you might think that the Redux NFP12 is a budget oriented version of the NFF12 because of the kinda similarly shaped wings, but that's not really the case. What Noxua actually did is take one of their already discontinued fans, the NFP12 PVM, put a stronger motor in there so that it can spin at 1700 RPM, painted grey with a little bit less grey and voila we have an old fan with a new model part of the new product line which is actually just a rebrand of an old product line which lacked many nowadays usually available features but we call it new and make people believe that we didn't do a bunch of stuff to keep the price down but in truth these things were never present in the original one in the first place. So yeah, you see, getting that MSRP down is a, a really complicated step. But to put it short, compared to any other nowadays available Noxia and F product, this Redux P12 does not come with any anti-vibration rubber pieces, though the ones on your usual NF fans do fit. It comes without any of the little extras like a low noise adapter or 30mm long extension cord. Though the PVM cable on uh, on this fan is already 40 centimeters long, which I freaking love. This should be standard also for the Noctia Chromex Blackline. The most important change uh, would be that these Redux fans are still using Noctia's older SSO1 bearing system just as it was still present with their ori original NFP12 PVM fans. When you kickstart a Redux and non-Redux fan right next to each other, you can observe how quickly the SSO1 bearing stops spinning. Uh, this directly translates into efficiency or how optimized the main lineup is compared to the Redux fan. And the most obvious difference, uh, a Redux fan comes in grey with a grey color scheme, without any options to, to go with any Thing different than that. Okay, with the whole Redux thing out of the way, let's talk about this specific fan. As it's still a Noctua fan, the Redux NFP12 comes in a standard Noctua style box, but unlike any other Noctua fan, there will be no rubber pieces, extension cord, or any other things included, just 
a grey fan and a little bag of screws. The fan itself exists in two different versions, a 3900 RPM and a 1700 RPM version, both of which are rocking a PVM connection. Then there are also two 3-pin fans, but those are just like knocks you are not being able to let go, kinda like the vegetable that you bring along for Christmas Eve. Sure, it, it doesn't say or do much, but at the same time it's kinda the reason why we are all here, so we just keep bringing him and pretend like it's still a thing. The exact fan we are looking at today is the 1700 RPM version of Noxious Redux NFP12. With its highly advanced non-vegetable PVM connection, it is able to push up to 70 CFM at 2.83 mm of H2O. Although this is clearly a, a budget Noxia version, I also want to make it very clear that this is still an Octia fan. Even if there is no rub around the fan holes, the frame is still very stiff, the rings are still high quality, and overall there is little that indicates any loss of product quality. On a positive note, though the vortex control notches which were originally found on the NFP12 are still present, so yeah, the, the sound will be more uh, pleasant, if, if, if that's really a thing. With the fan explained, let's look at the benchmarks. While letting the Noxia Redux NFP12 spin at 100% of its 1700 RPM, it managed to keep the 3700X at 47 degrees C, perfectly in line with an Arctic Bionics P120 and, surprisingly, outperforming Noxia's NFF12 by 10 degrees C in our benchmark, which would translate into roughly 2 degrees C in a, in a real world environment. And with only 8 degrees C behind the NFA12X25, it actually looks like this is the second best overall Noxia fan available right now. Okay, not bad. But how does it look on the noise to performance end? Here, uh, unfortunately, we start to see why these are so affordable. While the Redux P12 did manage to keep the temperature significantly lower compared to most other Noxia fans, except for the god tier models, it unfortunately fell behind pretty much every other existing Noctia fan as soon as they caught up. Then to add to all of this, due to its pretty heavy downfall, as soon as we lower that fan speed, it even managed to get beaten by alternative fans like an Arctic P12. So where does all of this leave us? Well, overall, the fan is kinda like I expected it to be, but at the same time, not. Redux clearly being a budget line, it was expected that the fan would not be as efficient at anything compared to Noxia's usual lineup. But, and, and that's a really big but, the max performance was better than any other main Noxia fan except for the NFA12X25. Unfortunately, this creates kind of a two-way approach of how we can look at this. On one hand, there is not a single 120mm non-RGB fan on my benchmark list which can outperform the NFP12 Redux in full blast while being more affordable than it. On the other hand, there are quite a few other fans which are a lot cheaper and able to clearly outperform the NFP12 Redux as soon as as you even look at that PVM slider. Uh, so yeah, the, the Redux NFP12 is clearly a, a price conscious option if you want to get into the Noctua game and surprisingly it is not a little version of their NFF12 but it is clearly more on the NFA12X25 end than any other Noctua fan. However, if you are looking to get the, the best bang for the buck, I, I have to disappoint you. Even with a 7 euro lower MSRP, there are still a lot of better price to performance options out there for something like 1690. Okay, and this should be it for Noctua's Redux NFP12. At this point, I would like to thank Noctua for sending over these pretty good, fa surprising, pretty surprising fans. And if you want to keep watching, have a look at our take on the Noctua NFA12X25, which are, they are literally gods, no joke. On a side note, we also have a Discord server now, so if you want to join and, and tell us what you managed to stick into your fan, the, the link is in the description below. Anyway, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.